Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Nino Sport, man. This is Leicester City, episode number six. Thank you so much for the support in episode five. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Without wasting any time, let's look at the matches that we have today. We have Aston Villa away from home. We have Norwich at home. We have Man City away from home. We have Liverpool at home. We have West Ham away from home five games in this episode what i'm hoping for is to at least get nine points out of these five games i know we have some very difficult games especially man city uh, and liverpool they're gonna give us hard time west ham they are just my i don't know they are the team that always finds a way to beat me i don't know how but then I hope I will get at least 9 points in this game. That will be marvelous to me. Without wasting any time, first game, Norwich City, it's a simulation. First game of the episode today is Aston Villa and it's gonna be a simulation for us guys today. Hopefully we can beat Aston Villa man, and get the result. Uh, let's see... Well, it's 1-1. One, one. We are unable to beat even Aston Villa of late. Oh my god. We slowly slipping away from that top 4 finish if we do this, man. Because I think it's crucial that we win all our games with the lower rated teams. Next game, it's Norwich City. Uh, it's going to be another simulation. I'm not going to play it. As I said that with small team, it's a simulation all the way. Schumacher managed to chip in one goal again. No clean sheet for Schumacher. That's not good. But it's 2 1. Vardy and Barco scored, and then Bondea scored their goal. He's a good player, Bondea, but I'm not looking forward to buying him because he's a winger, but he doesn't have much speed. Um, next game, we're facing Manchester City. It's not going to be easy. Of course, we know that. It's going to be tough, man. But we are willing to try and get a positive result in that game. Let's go there and try to win it. Hopefully, we will win it. Their starting lineup, our starting lineup is still the same, but they have Aguero, Sterling, and Silva, Bernardo up front, De Bruyne, Rodri, and Gonagam. At the back, it's Fernandino and Laporte in the center back. The wing backs is Cancelo and Mendy. Player to watch. It's Sergio Aguero, who they, they projected that he might score 35 goals this season. The record is 32, remember, in the Premier League. So, first chance came to Aguero. He took a shot, but Shimaka with the save. They started high and they showed us that they won a goal. Again, Akan Aguero is back, gave it to Gundogan who scored brilliantly. It's 1-0 on, on the 20th minute. We are already behind. That's not what we want to see against City. Because we all know City is not going to be an easy team to beat if we let them get in front. But we tried to come back 24th minute. Ball to Vardy. Vardy is true. Vardy scored. It's 1-1. One, one. At least that gave us some hope that we might get a positive result. Hopefully, I wish that was the end of the game, by the way. Good run by Vardy. Good pass to him. Gondagan came back. Gave it to De Bruyne. Back to Gondagan. He scored again. It is 2-1. Oh, my God. In no time after we equalize, they come back and score again. <sighs> From there, it was only going to be one way. Again, Gundogan. He scored again, completed his hat trick. It's 3-1. It's game over for us. First half was really terrible for us. It was terrible. Three goals in the first half. Shemichael shouldn't be happy with that. Um, then second half, before that, we look at Gundogan's hat-trick. Best half hat-trick, three shots, three goals for him. Wow. 
They come back across coming in Schmeichel with a beautiful save. First attack of the first half it was then they want to continue where they left off but Sterling was offside in that occasion. Surely that was going to be a, third, a fourth goal I'm telling you. Barco on the 50th minute he saw Tillemans. Tillemans cut inside. Then he keeps on going, he took a shot, it was blocked. Ayose Perez with the follow-up shot, it was saved by Ederson. A corner coming in, Ederson with another good save. Back to Barco. Barco is still going, but De Bruyne is well close to him, but Barco showed some strength. They passed the ball brilliantly, Tillemans with the finish, it's 3-2 at least. We managed to keep that pressure and we get the second goal. Now it's only one goal between us and City. We might still get a positive result here if we work harder. But straight to Sterling, 75 minutes. He hit the post. Straight to Bernardo. Bernardo finish it off. Of course all the rebounds go back to them. It's 4-2. It's game over for me. We don't have much time ready because we are on the 70 something minute at that time but on the 82nd minute Chilwell going forward Chilwell with the cross straight to Tillamans who finished brilliant what a goal by Tillamans though that was a big goal I want to see that again look at this man clinical wow on a volley brilliant Sterling two minutes left on the clock Sterling took a shot but Schmeichel with the save game. A header coming in by Laporte, he missed. Three minutes added on, dead minutes of the added on time, Sterling with the pass, he finds the Brony. It's an offside. Aguero scored, but it was an offside. Lucky for us. Then Tony can just go on and grab his match ball. Three attempts, three goals, perfect 100% for Gondokan. I wish you can do that in real life. Leicester City versus Liverpool. Starting 11, it's Bakovari Atal this time. Perez is sitting outside. Madison on the cam. Didi Tillerman. So Yuncho Evans in the centre back. Then we have Pereira and Chilwell on the wing backs. Liverpool, it's Mane. Firmino this time is back. Last, last time we played them, Firmino was on the bench. This time is back. Salah, Wanyaldem, Henderson, Fabino, Robinson, Van Dijk and Skriniar at the back it's it's tough Vardy got a chance Vardy cut inside Vardy still going Vardy took a shot it was saved but it went straight to Barco who missed the target that was the first attack for us their first attack it came to Salah who messed it up Fabino wins the ball back passed it to Roberto Firmino who took a shot and that was saved by Schmeichel Wanyaldem is dribbling Tillamans like he's not there. It's on the 19th minute, a shot coming in, another miss by Liverpool. They are already piling pressure in this first half, but we win the ball well with Didi in the middle field. Then we keep on going forward. Madison back to Didi. Didi looking for option. He doesn't have much speed, Didi. He gave it to Barco. Then Barco cut inside. He is still going with the ball. Liverpool defenders are running straight to their goalkeeper, but they left Vardy open, who scored. It is 1 0. Leicester City is leading. Signature ce celebration for Vardy. All the foxes are happy. But Liverpool were not going to sit down. Firmino scored, but Firmino was offside in that occasion. 39 minutes, Mane, who was quiet the whole half, gave it to Salah. I don't know what the fuck happened there to Salah. He passed the ball back, and they missed the target completely. Second half is underway. Vardy again, breakthrough. Van Dijk is going with him. Van Dijk with a beautiful sliding tackle. He dived to there, Vardy. You can see him holding his face. I don't know what happened to his face because they just took the ball on his feet. It is still 1-0. 57 minutes, a cross coming in, Fabino, it was a corner, he hit the R, uh, she hit the bar. We're still in it. It's it's still one nil. Firmino, Roberto Firmino, Roberto Firmino still going, Firmino took a shot. Good save by Schumacher. 
he really did well in that game. But Liverpool were camping here now. They are just building a big empire in our half. In our 18-yard area to Salah who missed the target completely. Changes were made. Priyad comes in. Priyad is still going with the ball. Priyad. Priyad so... Uh, Ianacho, so Vardy, Vardy who took a shot, Vardy scored, Van Dijk there is to blame, terrible defending by him, it is 2-0, no way back for Liverpool, I know it's Liverpool but they don't have much time to come back now, good ball, I don't know what Van Dijk was thinking to give so much space to Vardy. Obviously, Liverpool were not going to sit down, but they made a mistake again. Atal with the ball, gave it to Barco. Barco, same time shot, he missed the target. They coming back, they bought Morales. Why would you buy Morales? Morales, I think he's, he's playing for Levante, but Liverpool managed to score under 77 minutes. It is 2-1 now. Another terrible defending, look at Johnny Evans. I just I was looking at Johnny Evans the way he runs man so slow behind no Johnny Evans might be a good player but not in this game terrible tackle it's a right card for Ianacho it's a right card two three minutes added on by the referee one minute left Liverpool launching an attack the referee said I don't want to see that like attack guys it's game over Next game, last game of the episode, I think it's West Ham United. It's Barnes, Vardy, Perez, Madison, Tillemans, Ndidi, Benkovic, Ajay, Justin and Chilwell. The young man Justin get his, get his first game with me in this team. Uh, he haven't got a chance just because Pereira has been in good form, but Sarko is playing Diop, Balbuena, Masuaku, Sochek, Vecino, Anderson, Fornals, Kalari, and Hala up front. The ball is with Fornals. 27 minutes on the clock. Fornals coming forward. Fornals take a shot, but missed the target. 33rd minute. Leicester launch an attack. Vardy, Vardy same time shot, he hit the post, it was a very good game, we keep on putting pressure on West Ham United, Vardy again with a shot, Vardy scored this time on the 37 minute, we managed to take a lead, signature celebration from Vardy, brilliant breakaway goal, Vardy look at that, the defense just opens up for him, Another good ball coming forward. Ndidi finds Ayoso Perez. Ayoso Perez with a shot. Ayoso Perez scored again. It is 2 0 now. I, I don't know how uh, West Ham were fooled by that pass because it was simple that he's going to pass it there and Ayoso Perez was the only striker. Good pass again by Barnes. He finds Jimmy Vardy. Jimmy Vardy breaks through. He finished brilliantly. Two minutes added on by the referee. Vardy makes it 3 0. First half, three goals. That's a good performance. You're gonna admire them. Second half underway. We started it as we finished the second half, but good defending by West Ham this time. Gave it to Ndidi. Tillamans again. He keeps on going. Tillamans. Tillamans with a shot. Good save by Fabianski. West Ham were not going to sit back and enjoy the view. They go forward with Fornals who tries a pass. Benkovic good defending. But straight back to them. Back to Fornals who took a shot. But Schmeichel with another brilliant save. Sarko. I don't know. I don't know what, what's up with that Sarko. He's strong. He's fast. The cross coming in. Felipe Anderson. Pull one back. It is 3-1. Sako, I was trying to explain that player Sako is so overpowered when he's playing with the AI. I wanna try him in in my in one of my career modes. I really wanna try him. Vardy, 72nd minutes, Vardy still going, he breaks through straight to Fabianski and then he put the shot past Fabianski. It's a goal, it is 4-1. No way back West Ham. I'm sorry I'll have to destroy you like this. I already have some attachment to you. But Vardy again breaks through. But brilliant tackle by Diop. Who is a good defender. Three minutes added on. 
West Ham, they still want to make the score a little bit respectable. Coming forward, Felipe Anderson, same time cross, blocked straight to Felipe Anderson. Antonio hit the post with the header in the D-line position. Have you ever seen that? Jimmy Vardy grapes the match ball at the end of the game. He managed to score. Brilliant goals. Let's look at the league table again. We are on the fifth position. So far, we are safe. Um, Arsenal are still behind us. Uh, let's look at the bottom. What is happening? Southampton now they managed to get one win and two draws. Okay, five points. God, Southampton, what the hell is happening down there? Uh, let's go and look at the match reviews, guys, quickly. That brings us to an end of episode 6 of Leicester City career mode. Uh, let's, look, let's do some match reviews now. Aston Villa away from home. We managed to get a draw. 1-1 one, one draw. It was a, a disappointing result, honestly speaking. Next game, it was Norwich at home. It's another simulation where we got 2-1 win, of which is marvelous. It's good, but we can't keep a clean sheet again. Uh, Man City away from home, we lost 4-3 three, three there. Ah, it was a tough game, man. It was a really tough game. At some point, we were 3-1 down. Gondokan ran the show there. He did everything he can to put us on the sword. Uh, next game, it was Liverpool at home. We managed to get a win there. A really, really good game for us. Probably the best game of the season. We defended well, even though we considered a stupid goal at the end, but we defended well nonetheless. We got 2-1 win. That's marvelous. Last game of the episode, it was away It was away at West Ham United. We managed to get a win 4-1. I didn't expect that result because Sarko was playing. That guy, he hates me. He hates me, Sarko. He always do his best to beat me. But then we managed to beat them 4 1. That was a beautiful episode. I said in the beginning, the aim is to get at least 9 points. We managed to get 10 points out of um, how many points? Out of 15 that were on the table. 15 or 14? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. 15 on the table, and then we got 10 points. That, that was like really a good game for me, a good episode for me. We did well, uh, given the opponents we were facing, we managed to come up with 10 points. Thank you so much for watching. Please, if you're new, please subscribe on my channel. If you are a returning member of the family, press that like button, share it on your social media, tell your friends to tell other, other friends and other friends that they are keeping us, man. Thank you so much, your boy signing out. Bye.